Ready. Play. We got a couple of days of practice. Uh, it's been a first time outside in three weeks, so it's a little bit different. And obviously, here there is an altitude uh, on top of it, but. Uh, Definitely nice, and I love to be back in Spain. And I've been playing the tournament. Uh, I feel a long time ago. I don't know if it's true, but uh, definitely missed the one last year. So I'm pretty happy to be back. Does it feel as though you know, because you had that busy week, obviously for Fed, uh, Billie Jean King yeah. Cup, uh, right into Stuttgart. That's a tough turnaround for a lot of people, regardless of travel or whatever. I mean, did you start to feel it a little bit? Like yeah, it was it was definitely a tough uh, turnaround for me coming from the Billie Jean King Cup, where I played uh, long matches and my body really felt it. Yeah. So the adjustment to Stuttgart was really in a rush. Uh, it's obviously clay court, but it's very slippery one, so it's not. Uh, ideal to to get the quick uh, adjustment but uh, I played some first uh, two matches on clay and uh, really happy to be back uh, outside playing uh, on, on good clay courts here definitely very fast with the altitude and you need to adapt to that because it's flying a little bit but uh, yeah I think I need time to, to adapt obviously but we'll do my best. You're well known for your aggressive style particularly on the return. Yeah. Uh, do you ever think about maybe making adjustments, maybe taking a step back, or, or is it, you know what, all or nothing all the time? Yeah, I think you're like years late. <laughs> I mean, people keep asking me, but you're a like couple of years late asking that Sorry. question. Sorry, I am, uh, I'm a newbie, I'm a newbie. Uh, you're a newbie, okay, me too. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's, my, it's the way I return the best. Like, you can try to put me two meters behind, but I don't know how to do it, and it can be a disaster. I will get ace if I'm on the baseline, and I will be even more ace if I'm two meters behind. So uh, it's not working, it's for other people. <laughs> Got it. Um, do you have any superstitions? Do you have pre-match rituals or, or any thoughts, or even during the match that you that you're superstitious of? Um, no, I don't think I will call myself superstition. I, uh, I think I, you like to have a schedule to do a little bit always the same but it's tennis so you never know when you play so it's tough to have always the same routine but you have the same action kind of the same way of waking yourself uh, for a match uh, but it's just because you know it's working for you like you know you need uh, 20 minutes for a warm up to go on court or something like that but it's more like a timing that's uh, more like if I don't do it it's okay. What about if you hit an ace with a particular ball? Do you not want to take that ball and go I, again? I, I do. I have I do, seen that. I do yeah. that. Yeah, I've seen not that. Not every single time. No. Uh, but uh, if it's a tight moment, end of a set, end of a match, and uh, I served a good point or a good serve, I, I will ask for the ball. But it's not like every single time. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else in your yes. pitch? Are the first round the most difficult for you? The what? The first round of a tournament. Uh, every round, unfortunately. <laughs> in, uh, in English and French? Oh, a, a few more in English. In English and then we'll yeah. switch to French. Okay, okay. sorry. Um, Paul Mendoza has spoken a lot um, about kind of the inherent pressure of playing here in front of our home fans. When, when you are playing in front of your home fans, do you feel kind of an inherent sense of additional pressure that you might not feel when you're in a different country? Yeah, I think you feel something different. Yeah. Uh, obviously, uh, I've been uh, every single time I play in France, I feel something different. And Roland Garros, uh, it's it's even more. And I'm pretty sure Madrid for it's quite the same because it's a very big tournament. And uh, you want to already do good because it's a, it's a big tournament. Like every slam, so every uh, mandatory tournament, you want to go farther. You know, you know that's where things happen. <laughs> and uh, on top of it, uh, you don't play as many times in your country, and you want to do good also for. Sometimes your friends, your family coming, and uh, more fans cheering for you, and uh, yeah, it's part it's part of the deal. But um, it's it's obviously pressure, but I think it's also positive pressure. Mm -hmm. uh, not always easy to take it that that way, but it's yeah. what is supposed to. Do you? Why is it different in tennis? Because in other sports, it's called home field advantage. You're expected yes. to win at home. You want to play at home, right? In yes. football and other things. Why is it in tennis that it can be a negative? Um, I think because in football, they play every two weeks. So they are used to it. That's true. Uh, they, have the, they are in their own uh, locker rooms. They, like the week uh, before, like the day before, like they are staying at their house. They have, they, they feel they always train there. 
uh, so it's different and um, and they are as a team and we are alone in the middle like people are sharing for us yeah. not for the team and uh, it's more like personal yeah like it's more personal in on the code you are the only one that makes sense yeah it's a good breakdown yeah. <laughs> good. okay if you enjoyed this video make sure you hit that like button don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell so you don't miss out on all things tennis